Let me give you a nice practical application of this. Okay? Let's assume that poor people live in high crime areas, right? Right? Everybody agrees with that, right? On average, poor people live in high crime areas. Why? One of the two reasons you could say, one is they like to com they commit crime, but that, let's leave that one aside. Let's assume they're not the, commi they're not the guys committing crimes. Why, you, we have a separate theory why they commit crimes, but we'll leave that aside for the moment. Let's assume, why would they live in high crime, low cr high crime areas? Yeah. Yeah, it's a the, the safe, non low crime areas are normal good. They're poor. If I'm poor, same prices that everybody else faces, I'll choose the high crime area, okay? What if we magically came in and reduced crime in those areas? Would those people be better or worse off? They could very well be worse off, right? Because the rent that they pay would be determined by the marginal person willing to live in that neighborhood, right? The guy on the margin of living in that neighborhood. They, the marginal person presumably values the crime reduction more than they do, right? Because if it's a normal good, the guy who's the poorest values it the least. As that bids up rents in that neighborhood, rents would rise faster than the value to them of the crime reduction. Yes? Oh, that's the yeah. If they if they own the house, of course, then it's not where I live. It's where I own the property, right? It has nothing to do with where I live. It has to do with being an owner of the capital, right? So, if I owned houses in another neighborhood, I'm going to benefit, right? That, that, but the key point I'm trying to make here is that changes in the marketplace, because market prices are determined by the marginal willingness to pay. If prices respond to a rise in the marginal willingness to pay and I value it less than they do, I might end up being worse off. So this, is, this has important implications. I remember once I went to a conference where people were talking about, like saying, geez, isn't it terrible that all these people live in low quality housing? Wouldn't it be better if we like improved all that housing? And the answer is it might in some sense, but they might be worse off. In fact, what would they do if you improved the quality of the housing? They would leave and move to someplace else that had lower quality housing where they'd be willing to pay the price. And you might think this is a theoretical possibility. This is a real world phenomenon that happens all the time. And in fact, poor people often get up in arms when their neighborhood starts getting revamped to be a lot nicer, right? They get priced out of their neighborhood. And because they don't own their own homes, they actually could easily be worse off as rents rise. And where do they move when they leave those neighborhoods? Another lousy place, right? Now, I'm not saying it's not bad to be poor. I'm just saying, you know, they're doing the best they can with the resources they have available. But they're, since they, are not the, they won't necessarily benefit from an increase in the supply of high-quality housing if it comes at the expense of reduced supply of low-quality housing. It's exactly this kind of model here, exactly.